Welcome back everyone, Jim here. Well, this is uh, June 7th and the temperature is somewhere north of 90 degrees and uh, I just finished an 8, 8 by 24 foot long uh, platform. We've had a few years up here now. We've been sitting on the dirt. And anybody with an RV, you can put down carpets. And you can do different things, but nothing beats a platform. If it rains, you're up out of the mud. All those kind of things. Well, I decided uh, I'm going to kind of put the cart before the horse in this video. Because I'm showing you the finished product. And... Uh, of course, the camp is here now compared to my first, uh, the, the previous video where I was spreading out crushed rock. Since then, we've rolled the camper in, got that all leveled, you know, hooked up everything we needed to hook up. And uh, I know I had promised to show you the well, but, you know, there really wasn't much to show. I turned the knob on, we had water. It worked just as I thought it would. So I uh, probably won't show that because, like I said, it'd be hard to make a video out of a two-second show. So anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, show you the deck. And then I'm going to uh, show you some steps that it took to get here. Again, it's an 8 by 24 foot. Uh, it's all pressure treated. Costs come in around twelve hundred dollars, give or take. And now we get to enjoy it. Very comfortable. We're under the awning. Awning's connected down, so it's not going to blow away. And like I said, it's about ninety-five degrees. Pretty hot for me. Kind of unusual. So, probably up till now, i just been doing a little talking and showing some pictures of what I've been up to. And I'll probably continue that, doing some pictures, uh, then doing a little bit of talk over, and then maybe some video in between. I'm just starting to put down the decking. And, uh, I believe uh, what they recommend is if your boards are wet, you can butt them right up together. On your decking. This is five quarter pressure treated and it was pretty wet when I got it and it's still not dried out. So I'm going to butt them right up together and when they shrink then they'll provide a little bit of a gap. But uh, what I wanted to show you is my drill. I'm so impressed with this thing. It's called a Senko and it uh, has an automatic loader and the nice thing about it is, if, you've, if you're into woodworking projects like this, and you've ever had a box of screws, and one screw at a time, put it down, and that gets old. Some screws go in crooked, and I don't know. It has a rail, and I, I don't know, maybe 50 screws on it. And the nice thing is, you don't have to bend over. Now, I've got the shorter rail. There's actually a rail that goes on this gun that you can stand up like this and just walk along and put the screws in. I suppose you could do the same for sheetrock screws on the ceiling uh, after somebody's, you know, temporarily nailed it. You could go behind them and put in more screws. Uh, working close to the decking like this, I generally just use the shorter one and it works out fine for me. 
So I just wanted to give a quick demo. I've still got another two, four, six, eight, ten. Another twelve screws to go on this board. And I figured I'd show you how quick it puts in twelve screws. Ah. Now, I'm not going to say this is 100% perfect, but I bet it's 98%. Uh, once, in a, once in a while, there is a misfire or something doesn't line up just right. But for the most part, things go pretty good. So, here's 12 screws. was a uh, foreman on a job and trying to uh, capitalize on a person's time, to me that's much faster than grabbing one screw out of a bucket. But uh, like I said, this is a Senko and I'm, I'm plenty happy with it. I'll, uh, I'll put, uh, try to put the no number of the drill and stuff on the bottom in case anybody's interested. But uh, anyway, I've started putting down the boards. Uh, Everything's pressure treated, built on a bed, bed of crushed rock. I've got uh, uh, road paper, road felt underneath the rock, and the deck is pitched maybe one eighth of an inch and eight feet, just a, just enough to uh, so the water doesn't puddle on it. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll have more pictures. I'm not going to video the whole thing because it, it takes too long. But uh, basically, I'm just making a flat platform, something to keep us up off the ground with our chairs and provide a level service. So keep watching, and uh, like I say, I'll intermix pictures with video. So, I got about two-thirds of it done. I got another third over there. So this is about 16 feet here. But uh, that's enough for one day. Time for cold one. I don't know if any of you have ever tried uh, Peak. Peak Brewing Company. Uh, it's about the only organic uh, beer that I could find. Peak IPA. Love it. And when it's good and cold, wow. Wow. That's good. Good way to end the day. I did put a trim board across the front, thought it just made it look a little bit neater. All the edges are rounded, except for the back edges. I didn't waste any time on the back. Any of the extra length boards, 
that's where it ended up on the back so some might be you know quarter of an inch longer doesn't matter nobody's gonna be back there anyway eight foot wide 24 foot long and it's in three sections So if I had to absolutely take it apart, I could break it up into uh, three 8x8 eight eight sections. Come out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I tried to show you a few steps that I went through in doing it. And a uh, fairly easy project, as long as you got the tools. Now we're just going to sit back, enjoy a little bit of it. Hopefully it cools off some tonight, because we got the AC running, so nice and cool in the camper. Got to tell you though, it is quiet out here. Other than the breeze blowing, a few birds making noise, can't beat it. Look at this. Chippies come running across the deck. I think this will get a lot of use. Like I said, and then we spread spread the crushed rock out. If you remember that in the previous video, that came out pretty good. I did have to make level it up a little bit more so that the platform was level. Well, I say level. I actually, I'll exaggerate a little bit. It's like this. But again, that's an exaggeration. It's maybe just leaned out just a little bit so that the water, if there is any water that blows in here, it drains off. So now it's just kind of living the life and see how this uh, how this deck performs. I'm going to put a glider up here, maybe some more chairs. So if you might be contemplating uh, building such a deck, this probably took me... Uh, At my pace, maybe three days, uh, and that's just taking my time. I didn't, uh, certainly didn't, the only sweat I worked up was because it's 95 degrees out. But uh, other than that, it was pretty, pretty easy, easy to do deck. So uh, hopefully this helped you. If you've got any questions, if you're thinking about doing something like this, you know, give me a shout, and I'll catch up with you next video. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed some of the steps that I showed along the way. What a nice breeze coming through. Sometimes we use the fan to create our own breeze. Something I learned last year though, if you got a lot of mosquitoes, black flies, etc., Run a fan. Somehow that disrupts their airfoil. Then they don't bother you. I'm not sure what the next video will be. Thanks for watching.